And now we have reached the most interesting and at the same time the most complex subject of this course. In this lesson, we will learn the role of the preserve aspect ratio attribute and how it affects on the display of the graphics. At the previous lesson, the aspect ratio of the viewbox and the aspect ratio of the viewport were equal and there was no need to set the preserve aspect ratio manually. Let's take a look at the screen. There is something wrong with the shark. In this case, the aspect ratios of the viewbox and the viewport don't match. And that leads to incorrect display of an image. In cases like this, we should use the preserve aspect ratio attribute that defines the rules how the user agent should join the viewbox with the viewport and transform it. The preserve aspect ratio attribute accepts two parameters. The first parameter is align, which specifies how to align the viewbox relative to the viewport. The second parameter is mid or slice. It determines whether the viewbox is fully fit inside the viewport or just partially. The default value of the align parameter is x mid, y mid, and the default value of the mid or slice parameter is mid. The default value of the parameters means that if you omit the parameter, then the default value will be applied. So, what is the difference between mid and slice values of mid or slice parameter? We will sequentially examine the user agent algorithm of applying transformation to the bound layers when they join with the viewport. We will figure it out how does algorithm work with a mid or with a slice value. If the viewbox and the viewport aspect ratios don't match, then the user agent decreases the size of the bound layers. If the size of the viewport is smaller than the size of the viewbox, and the user agent increases the size of the bound layers if the size of the viewport is larger than the size of the viewbox. And the user agent will change the size of the bound layers until the viewbox will completely fit into the viewport. The two sides of viewbox and viewport will meet, but the other two won't. Then the size of the viewbox that don't reach the sides of the viewport will start to move in the direction of sides of the viewport until the sides will meet. Note that this transformation will change the size and the aspect ratio of the viewbox. So it leads to making invisible graphics visible, because the graphics that was outside the viewbox will be inside. As you could notice, the central point of viewbox and the central point of viewport have been joined before transform scale function changed the bound layers. It happened because the align parameter was set to x mid y mid by default. The align parameter sets the origin point for viewbox and viewport. The align parameter can accept nine different values. They describe nine different positions of the origin points. There are only two possible cases where you have to choose one of three group of values. In the first case, the viewport position horizontally and the viewbox positioned vertically. The transform translate function joins the viewbox origin point with the viewport origin point. As I mentioned before, the position of the origin point is specified by a line parameter. After the user agent joined the origin points, it increases or decreases the viewbox size relative to the origin point until the viewbox completely fits into the viewport. As we can see, at this stage, we can divide the nine values of a line parameter into three groups. The first one is the left align group, which includes three align parameters x min, y min, x min, y min, and x min, y max. The viewbox will expand into the right direction in all three cases because three sides will meet when the viewbox fits into the viewport. The second group is the center align group that includes three align parameters x min y min, x mid, y mid, and x mid, y max. The viewbox will expand to both sides in all three cases, because the top and the bottom sides of viewbox will meet with the top and the bottom sides of viewport when the viewbox fits into the viewport. The third group is the right align group, which includes three align parameters, x max, y min, x max, y mid and x max, y max. The viewbox will expand to the left in all three cases because three sides will meet when the viewbox fits into the viewport. Note that when the boundaries meet, the alignment on the y-axis is no longer available 
And that means that any alignment on the y-axis won't have any effect. If the align parameter is set to meet, it will change the viewbox size and aspect ratio. In the second case, the viewport is positioned vertically and the viewbox is positioned horizontally. In this case, the user agent fit the viewbox into the viewport by connecting the right and left sides of the viewbox with the right and left sides of the viewport. That's why the alignment along the x-axis is meaningless, because it will give the same result. But in this case, the x-axis alignment will have effect. In this case, we also could divide 9 parameter values into 3 groups. The first one is the top align group, which includes 3 align parameters x min, y min, x mid, y min, and the x max, y min. The viewbox will expand to the bottom in all three cases, because when the viewbox fits into the viewport, the three sides of the viewbox meet the three sides of the viewport. That's why the only possible direction for expounding is the downward direction. The second one is the center align group, which includes three aligned parameters, x min y mid, x mid y mid, and the x max y mid. When the viewbox fits into the viewport, the left and the right sides of the viewbox meet with the left and the right sides of the viewport, and then the viewbox will expand to both the top and the bottom direction in all three cases. The third one is the bottom align group, which includes three align parameters x min y max, x mid y max, and x max y max. The viewbox will expand to the top in all three cases. Because when the viewbox fits into the viewport, the three sides of the viewbox will meet with the three sides of the viewport. That's why the only one possible direction for expounding is the upward direction. The behavior of the viewbox is different if the meter slice parameter of the preserve aspect ratio attribute is set to slice. In this case, the user agent doesn't try to completely fit the viewbox into the viewport. We can even say that in this case, when the sides of the viewbox meet the sides of the viewport for the first time, then the areas of the viewbox, which are beyond the boundaries of the viewport, are sliced by user agent. As in the case with the meet parameter, for the slice parameter, there is also two possible cases. At the first case, the viewport is positioned horizontally, and the viewbox is positioned vertically. The alignment by x-axis won't have any meaning, as in the previous cases. And that means that there are three alignment groups. The first one is the top align group, which includes the three parameters x min, y min, x mid, y min, and the x max, y min. In this case, the top left and right sides of the viewport and the top left and right sides of the viewbox have met before the user agent crops the bottom part of the viewbox. The second one is the center align group which includes three parameters, x min, y mid, x mid, y mid, and the x max, y mid. In this case, the left and right sides of the viewport and the left and the right sides of the viewbox is joined in the center of the viewbox before the user agent crops the top and bottom parts of the viewbox. The third one is the bottom align group, which includes x min, y max, x mid, y max, and the x max, y max parameters. In this case, the bottom, left and right sides of the viewport and the bottom, left and right sides of the viewbox is joined before the user agent crops the central and the top parts of the viewbox. I guess you have already understood the core principles. If something remains unclear to you, you can use the theory modules from your homework. There are 50 pages that helps you to understand how does it works. And that's all for now. Do your homework and I will see you in the next lesson.